Thanks for watching. I've seen many kayak being converted into sailboat, but I haven't seen any video about converting a foldable kayak into sailboat. Modifying a foldable kayak in a sailboat faces different challenges, and I'm going to share my experience in this video. I did a modification last month in September. I only have a two week window to get to design and get it done because I want to test that boat before I take my off the country trip at the end of September. Besides, the weather this year seems to be getting colder much sooner. The day I test the boat was not perfect. I wish the wind would have been stronger so I have a better feel about the structural design of the boat. The modification I've done are not perfect either, as expected, it's my first try. But it provided me a lot of insight on what I need to do in my next round of the design. I will point those out at the end of the video. I use a unique process in this modification, especially in making different components such as the dagger ball and the rudder. I used the hot fusion technique which I published last month in another YouTube video. I am going to share the details how I create those components using the hot fusion technique. This may not be the best way to create those components, but it is a low cost, a quick and easy way to make those components. I look at it as a good alternative to use wood or metal. Then again, I'm not trying to create a best-in-class sailboat either. I just want to create a boat that I can sail and have fun. I want to create a boat that I can pack in, inside my car, less than 30 pounds if possible, so I can launch it by myself. And also to build a complete boat, I want to use only between 16 to 20 hours. Of course, I can make fancy and spend a lot more time. And I don't want to spend more than $150 to build a boat. And of course, it has to be behave like a sailboat. That means I can sail upwind. And I also want to be able to paddle like a kayak. Because if there's no wind, I can still paddle back ashore. Don't expect the performance of this boat as good as a fiberglass kayak or wooden kayak because of limitation of the design which I have to follow it. This video is to share my experience, learning and mistakes I made. I hope it will inspire you to build a better boat. Let's take a look at what I've done. I have two dagger bolts and the starboard one stayed down because it wasn't totally sealed and water got in. This turned out to be a good thing. The port side flowed up and basically is useless. There are different ways to fix that. The simplest way is not to seal the dagger bolt watertight. I demonstrated here is if the sail forced the mast to lean on one side, the whole boat moved. When I insert the dagger bolt and try to tilt the boat, the coral plus bolt flexes. I can fix this by adding foam blocks on both sides of the chair and then add a lashing to hold that section of the boat together. As you can see, that section is getting more rigid. Dagger ball or center ball is a very critical component for a sailboat. You can see the illustration here. What happens if we try to sail away from the dock without the centerboard? I don't think we'll make any progress sailing like that. Now let's try sailing with the centerboard down. And what do you know? We're off to the races. I used a half inch PVC pipe to strengthen the dagger ball. I heat up one end of the pipe and then I flatten it. Once I place the, the pipe inside the folded copper sheet, the pipe will not come loose easily. 
I recycled the old coil plast, and this sheet is about 36 inches long, 14 inches wide. I fold it into 36 inches by 7 inches wide dagger ball. I started the fusion process by heating up the corner of the fold corpus sheet bit by bit. I applied heat so the surface of the corpus melted and then I pressed them together. Please allow time for the surface to cool and fuse it together. I created a pocket and inserted the PVC pipe and then closed the pocket using the same heat fusion process. It took 14 minutes to make a ball. And the process is faster than using wood because I don't have to paint the ball. Besides, it's lighter than using wood. Similarly, I fused the two corpus sheet together to create a rectangular sheet. Then I bent it into a bracket. I held the folded joint and allowed it to cool down and create a rigid 90 degree fold. I have to test the dagger ball with the bracket and do minor fine tuning on the shape of the bracket. This is like welding the bracket onto the side of the boat. I heat the surface on the bracket to a point that the corpus started to melt and at the same time I warm up the surface on the side of the boat so that when I press them together, they can be fused together. In my next video, I will talk about how I make the mast and also the base for the mast. If you find this video interesting or helpful, please give me feedback. I appreciate if you subscribe to my channel too. Thanks for watching.